I'm Larry Hyde. I'm one of the principal owners at the Speckle Pig Brewing Company up here in Boston Spa, New York. My wife, uh, Mary Jo, and I, I've been home brewing for about five years. During that time, we would visit a ton of different breweries, and uh, we thought we could do this. We wanted to move up to Saratoga County, and we started scouting out locations. Boston Spa uh, became one of the places that my wife and I would go visit whenever we'd want to go out to dinner. We noticed that there was uh, a void here for uh, a brewery. We were looking to have a place where the locals could come and, and congregate and make friends and see old friends, and that's definitely uh, been mission accomplished. This is my hometown of Balsam Spa, uh, so I've always wanted to be the brewer in Balsam Spa or have a brewery in Balsam Spa, and I was lucky enough to reach out to uh, RJ first and then uh, Larry. Uh, I brewed a couple batches with Larry and then uh, they liked what I could do and now I'm here permanently. I did a lot of research on that nano three and a half to five barrel, seven barrel systems. Blickman kind of jumped out at me, not only for their price point as being more attractive than others, but also um, I was able to see like the process was very similar to home brewing, just on a larger scale. It made more sense to me and was a lot less intimidating. I came from a couple different breweries, um, so I was able to experience uh, you know, a couple different brewing styles and different equipment and stuff like that. And Blinkman is right up there with, you know, uh, the top equipment suppliers, uh, from the chiller to the the mill. I mean, everything is uh, phenomenal. It works great. I mean, I'm glad I made the jump to Blinkman. The um, the system to me was easy to transition to from a home brewer. Like the mill, for example, we were looking at the mill yesterday for the price point. It it accomplishes everything that you need from a grain mill. Um, for a fraction of the cost from their competitors. Um, their control panel to me uh, at the brew house is so less intimidating uh, from a home brewing standpoint. I just go up there, I program the temperature, I turn it on and it does exactly the task that it's needed to. It, do, it may not have all the bells and whistles of some of the competitors, um, but they're, they're not needed. I'm, all I'm looking to do is bring up water to a certain temperature and it accomplishes the task very quickly. They've got um, three 6,000 watt heating elements in our brew kettles that bring up work to a boil in about 40 minutes. So, and then also with the chiller, we can bring it down from boiling to pitching temperature in about 45 minutes. So I'm happy with all the equipment, honestly. I know I can pick up the phone and make a phone call and instead of it being an automated machine, I always get somebody to pick up the phone on the other end. They're able to give me quotes right away. They're able to, like we've had a couple of minor equipment issues. Um, nothing out of the ordinary and they're able to just ship me out uh, replacement parts right away. I feel like I'm part of the Blickman family, honestly. Blickman already has um, the, the necessary next size equipment that we, uh, that we need in order to grow. Um, so we've already started using the Blickman seven barrel fermenters to do double batches and eventually we'll end up with a seven barrel Blickman system uh, for their brew house. I'm slowly adding different things and making it my own uh, right now with the brew house, um, but we definitely are going to expand. Uh, we're going to continue to grow. We're going to add more fermenters, um, obviously produce more beer, um, and definitely move up to a bigger system eventually. Right now I have everything on the horizon. I, I plan to do uh, a lot of big beers, uh, a lot of sours, a lot of triples. I think there's always going to be a demand for a gathering spot if you create a really nice tap room um, with good beer. I think you're going to have the elements of success. Um, I don't want to start plans for distribution and make this big jump into a 15 barrel system thinking that we're going to be able to flood the market outside of our tap room and have a demand. Um, so right now we are just focused on keeping our tap room uh, as an inviting place to be and I think we need to be at a seven barrel brew house to do that. We haven't had a day off in about seven months. It's way more work than I ever thought it would be. Um, I, I think in some respects it's so rewarding. I mean when you have somebody come across from, you know, and you're not even tell you but when you observe somebody being like, oh this is great beer, like that's what it's about. It's, it's very rewarding to have people enjoy your beer and your product. Um, and it's really rewarding to see like families and young kids and this place packed on a Friday and Saturday and everybody just enjoying themselves at your tap room. That, that's kind of, I mean, it sounds corny, but that's what makes me, it's what kind of drives me to keep it going.